Hi everybody and welcome to another segment of FPV Beast. We're here with the flying legend, Terrence Petrol FPV. What's going on? How you doing, man? I'm doing how you're looking. Excellent, of course. I don't know if I'm a legend. I, 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 I like being in the hobby, but it, you know, I appreciate that. Hey, we, we claim the legends here. We say who's a legend. And when you're a legend, you're a damn legend, goddammit, all right? I, I'm not even going to argue with you. <laughs> all right. Now, what do we got going on here today, Terrence? We're out in the in, in the field. We're, we're we're having a bunch of FPV fun. What what are we doing here today? Uh, so uh, some guy named Howard had this idea, and we now found out it's because it's near his house. That <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to get a bunch of guys down and um, fly this place called Trash Mountain. Um, I never like to say cities. I figure if you know, if you know, you know. If you don't know, that's for you to figure out. <laughs> but you know, it's a pretty nice spot and. Uh, a lot of like little abandoned areas around here. The biggest thing is uh, climbing the mountain. I went up there and um, it was a little scary because it's, there's so much uh, material in the ground because it was basically a landfill. Right, right. So that stuff causes so much interference. You don't even realize you just rocks and dirt, whatever. But no, we we're going to forget about the plastic and the metal and all the other crap in the ground. So as you start to dip a little bit behind the mountain, your signal immediately starts to fade. So it was a challenge on my first couple of packs, but it was fun. It's fun so far. Yeah, so what do you got going on in the FPV world? We want to hear about what's going on with Petro FPV. Well, it, well, 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 with that, it's it's more so what's going on with ground control FPV. Oh, there we go. So um, I co-own a company called Ground Control FPV with uh, Shoji FPV, who's somewhere over my shoulder, somewhere around here. Oh, he's back. You could see him back there. He's hiding. Yeah. And um, we have a 3-inch quad, 5-inch quad, a 6-inch version of that quad, and a 7-inch quad. And we have one that we're testing, that we're working on, that we're not talking about to too, too many people. He already knows what it is, but we're not talking about what it. What it is. To too many people right now because, you know, still you know, trying to get all the kinks out of it. But um, I think the goal at this point now is to uh, provide solid quality uh, equipment for people to use, you know, in the community, as well as things that could be used for semi-pro and professional, you know, environments. So you're looking for something that's kind of like almost like a pro-am. Amateurs can use it, but then you can also use it as a professional situation. Pretty much. All right, so where can people find out about these drones? Uh, you can go to groundcontrolfpv.com, and we have all of our stuff up on the website. Everything is ready to sell. Drop shipping directly to you. If you order the Cinewhoop, we will send you two boxes because the, the the factory can't do the TPU. So we'll do the TPU and we'll send that to you. Um, another outlet for that is uh, Midwest Custom Drones. We'll actually work with them because we only provide it in black. But if you want it in any other color, they'll do it in every color. So that's the other option. So there you go, providing great and excellent customer service, groundcontrolfpv.com. Yes, sir. All right, that's awesome. Anything else you want to plug today? You know, just keep flying, keep being awesome. Uh, I love this community. I love the people in this community. And just remember, we are FPV, as I always say. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Terrence, once again. Always, everyone, this is a full FPV beast right here. Legendary beast, myth, legend. All of you, visit groundcontrolfpv.com. Visit pilotsanddrones.com and be sure to always just send it.